Hi all. We have looked over the probabilistic interpretation of the wave function. Now we are going to examine another aspect of the wave function, another interpretation of the wave function, uh, wave function psi. Let me define a quantity rho of x dash t as the probability density. Okay, we know this is the wave function psi, and we can define the wave function position as space wave function as x dash alpha t naught t. Okay, this is our wave function, and uh, I am defining, uh, and we know this is the probability density, and why uh, this is known as probability density. Uh, instead of simply probability because uh, this quantity mod psi square dx dash is the probability of finding the particle in a narrow region dx dash and when we are integrating all over the space all space this is equal to 1 okay the RSS of the equation uh, RSS of this equation is dimensionless so the LSS of this equation also should be dimensionless the, and the uh, dimension of this dx dash in one dimension it's L okay in the dimension of length so in one dimension this should be in the dimension of one by length okay that's why this is known as probability density because because probability per unit length and in two dimension probability per unit area area and in 3d probability per unit volume okay that's why this is known as probability density and that probability density i'm defining here uh, with a term rho okay and uh, we know the time dependent wave equation is i h cross and here onwards, I am skipping this prime. Okay, here it's a, a psi of x prime t. Okay, I'm skipping the uh, uh, the term. Uh, I am skipping this prime here onwards because we are not going to use the uh, position operator uh, throughout this equation. We are not going to use because of that. Simply, I am writing instead of this x prime or uh, x dash. Simply, I am writing psi of x and t. Okay. So we know the time dependent wave equation is i is equal to dot psi by dot t equal to minus h bar square over 2m del square psi plus v psi. And uh, this is equation 2. And we, we, when we are taking its complex conjugate, we will get we are replacing i with minus i and psi with psi star minus i h cross dot by dot t psi star equal to minus h bar square over 2m del square psi plus v of x psi star xt. Okay, this is equation 3. And here onwards, I am skipping the term this x and t also uh, because this is a function of x and t it will consume a lot of space in this board that's why i'm skipping this term you have to keep it in mind this is the uh, size the function of here also size psi and psi star are the functions of uh, x and t okay and it's complex conjugate we have found and uh, um, let me multiply equation 2 with psi star we will get i is gross uh, i is gross psi star dot psi over 20 equal to minus h bar square psi star del square psi plus psi star v uh, psi. Similarly, we need to multiply equation 3 with the psi and we will get this equation 5. Okay, we need a subtraction now to manipulate uh, to get this equation dot over dot t. Okay, so uh, we need to subtract subtract equation 5 from equation 4 and we will get when we are subtracting the left side of equation 5 from equation 4, we will get i h cross psi star dot psi over dot t uh, plus psi dot psi by uh, dot psi star by dot t. Okay. And that is equal to minus h bar, h bar square over 2m uh, in the right side minus h bar square over 2m uh, into psi star del square psi minus psi del square psi star plus this star psi star b psi minus psi b psi star. Okay. Actually, this term this is equal to zero because our potential operator, our operator v of x, our operator v of x is Hermitian. Okay. For example, this is. Uh, uh, if this is x plus uh, x plus 2x square okay we are operating with this operator means we are multiplying with this x plus 2x square okay it doesn't matter where we are applying this x plus 2x square we are uh, multiplying uh, here uh, whether here or here doesn't matter okay uh, because this is a Hermitian operator and uh, next is this psi star psi so v we can use anywhere and next is the psi star psi should be equal to psi psi star because uh, we know this is psi this is x uh, inner product of x dash and alpha that is psi inner product means uh, this is we can define as um, we can define as expansion coefficient so we can take it as c and the conjugate of this one is c star okay this expansion coefficient the inner product inner product of x dash and, and uh, x dash and alpha so we know c c star equal to c star c okay in that way psi star psi equal to psi psi star because of that we can uh, we can assume that this will be equal to zero
and we can write this equation as ih cross dou by dou t psi star psi. We can reduce this equation into this one dou by dou t of psi star psi equal to minus h minus square over 2m psi star del square psi minus psi del square psi star. Okay. And this is, uh, this we have defined in the outset uh, that is psi star psi is the density, probability density. So we can write instead of the psi star psi, this is rho, dou rho by dou t and uh, when we manipulate it, dou rho by dou t equal to i h cross over 2m psi star del square psi minus psi del square psi star and let me put it as equation 6 okay we have equation 6 dou rho by dou t equal to i h cross over 2m psi star del square psi minus psi del square psi star okay i can write this equation 6 as dou rho by dou t equal to minus del dot j where j equal to minus i h cross over 2m psi star del psi minus psi del psi star okay and j is known as probability flux and i will provide I will provide you the derivation minus del dot of this quantity will give RHS of this equation at the end of this video. Okay. Actually, you are familiar, actually you are familiar with this equation and electrodynamics. Dou by dou t equal to minus del dot j. This equation, this is the equation of continuity in electrodynamics where rho is the charge density and j is the current density. Okay. I can write this equation as minus dou rho by dou t equal to equal to del dot j okay that means the rate of decrease of the charge density equal to the divergence of the current density in electrodynamics in our quantum mechanics rho is probability density that means rate of decrease of the probability density equal to divergence of some particular quantity okay that quantity is known as probability flux uh, in introduction to electrodynamics is a textbook written by um, David J. Griffith. He used to explain the equation of continuity in this way. The tiger cannot simply rematerialize outside this cage. If it got from inside to outside, it must find a hole in the fence. Okay, that means uh, the tiger is inside this cage and cannot it cannot disappear inside this cage. It, it cannot disappear inside and appear outside simply okay it has to find a hole and it has to uh, go out gradually okay um, so here it's going out partially it's inside and partially outside okay in this way only this tiger can go out okay so uh, in this equation of continuity when we are considering a closed surface with rho is the charge density the rate of decrease of the charge density if the charge density is decreasing then there should be a flow of charges flow of charges through the surface okay so uh, when charge density is decreasing that means the flow of charge should be there from inside to outside through this surface okay so through the surface the charge is flowing is current and uh, that is del dot j in electrodynamics divergence of the current density current density means uh, charge flowing per charge flowing per unit area of this surface okay so when we are considering when we are considering a closed space and if we are taking rho is the probability density okay rho is the probability density that means probability of finding the particle inside this closed surface if the probability is decreasing with respect to time there should be a flow of something okay there should be a flow of some quantity and that quantity is known as probability flux and that quantity in mathematical form is represented here j equal to minus i h cross over 2m psi star del psi psi star del psi minus psi del psi star in electrodynamics it was current density j equal to uh, j equal to current per unit area current density uh, j is current density in quantum mechanics this is this quantity known as probability flux is j equal to minus i h cross over 2m psi star del psi minus psi del psi star and we can reduce into this form that is j equal to h cross over m imaginary part of psi star del psi okay this derivation also i will give at the end of this video okay uh, the uh, derivation of reducing this into this one so this is equation 9 probability flux relation between the probability flux and wave function okay 
This is a very important equation, very important relation. Usually the questions based on uh, this probability flux asks in uh, exams like gate net and all. Okay, so uh, you should keep it in mind uh, uh, about this relation. And uh, we are going to examine actually what is actually what is this uh, probability flux. Okay, and actually this is momentum. Okay, this is related to momentum in this way. We are going to derive that one that is integral. Integral all over the space. Uh, d cube x g of x t probability flux. We are integrating probability flux uh, in all over the space. Okay, and that is equal to integral probability flux is h cross over m imaginary part of psi star del psi d cube x. Okay, so that is 1 by m imaginary part of integral psi star h del psi d cube x and that is equal to 1 over m imaginary part of psi star. Actually, we are multiplying uh, we are multiplying with uh, uh, i and minus i. Okay, that means i into minus i is 1. Okay, i square is uh, minus 1, minus 1 into uh, minus 1 is plus 1. Okay, so that will not make any changes, change in this equation. <coughs> so that is equal to 1 over m, imaginary part of, we are taking this i outside, i integral psi star minus i h cross del psi d cube x. Okay, and that is equal to 1 over m, imaginary part of i into i integral psi star we know this is momentum operator, momentum operator in position spaces minus i h cross del, i h cross del. Actually, we have uh, learned, the, learned this one, this relation in first chapter. So, this is minus i h cross del is momentum operator P psi d cube x and that is equal to 1 over m, imaginary part of, imaginary part of i into this one. So this is the imaginary part. So we can take 1 over m integral psi star p psi d cube x and that is equal to this term actually represents integral psi star p psi d cube x is expectation value of x and the size the function of psi is uh, the function uh, of x and t and we are representing at time t. So we can write the expectation value of p at a time t over m. Okay. So we can we can define integral d cube x j of x t equal to expectation value of momentum at a time t over m. Okay, this is actually the relation between momentum and the probability flux. Okay. To understand the physical significance of the wave function, let us write uh, the psi of x t as under root rho e raised to i s over h cross. S is the function of x and t. Uh, even if you write in this form, that means if we find psi star psi, if we find psi star psi, that is equal to psi star is under root rho e raised to i s over h cross, s over h cross, and psi is psi is under root rho e raised to minus i s or h cross. Okay, so this is equal to rho. The left side will become mod cross mod side square. Okay, so this is our definition. The probability density is uh, mod of the wave function, square of the mod of this wave function. So uh, definition is right. Even if write, even if we write in this form, so we can write the wave function as under root rho e raised to i s uh, over h cross i s over h cross. Okay, the condition is s should be real or s is real. And rho is greater than zero. And now let's find uh, psi star del psi. That is equal to uh, psi star is under root rho e raised to minus i s over h cross del psi. Psi is under root rho e raised to i s over h cross. Okay. And that is equal to under root rho e raised to minus i s over h cross. Uh, uh, and uh, into uh, we can do this operation del under root rho e raised to i s over h cross is under root rho del of del of e raised to i s over h cross del of e raised to i s over h cross is e raised to i s over h cross uh, and uh, uh, into i over h cross into del s okay plus plus um, e raised to i s over h cross into del root rho into del root rho uh, that is equal to i over h cross that is equal to i over h cross 
rho delta s rho del s under root uh, that means if we are multiplying this under root rho with this rho we will get that is equal to rho and if we are multiplying e raised to minus i s over h cross with e raised to plus i o i s over h cross we will get that is equal to 1 and uh, uh, the remaining terms are i o over h cross i o over h cross rho del, del s plus this term is uh, this term is if you are multiplying with uh, this root row with this mm, root row e raised to minus i s over h cross with this e raised to plus i s over h cross we will get 1 and under root row into del row okay and we know the probability flux is j equal to h cross over m imaginary part of say star del psi okay this is i into some term so imaginary part of psi star del psi is imaginary part of psi star del psi is this one okay this is the real part and this is the imaginary imaginary part so the imaginary part instead of this imaginary part we can write h cross over m rho into rho into del s over h cross rho into del s over h cross and this h cross and h cross will get cancelled h cross and h cross will get cancelled and we can write j equal to rho del s over m okay that is equation 11 Before explaining the physical significance of equation 11, uh, let me complete the mathematical portion. Uh, that is, uh, the equation of a plane wave, actually we have learned in electrodynamics equation of a plane wave, is uh, something, I mean, so, psi of x t is proportional to e raised to, uh, e raised to i k dot r minus omega t, or in one dimension i, uh, e raised to i k x minus omega t. So in three dimension, equation of a plane wave is, uh, in the form of e raised to i k dot r minus omega t okay so uh, here i can write uh, that is that implies psi of x t equation of a plane wave this represents a plane wave uh, psi of x t represents a plane wave that is proportional to e raised to i into this is wave, wave number k and that we can write we know the momentum p equal to h cross k so k we can write in this form p uh, the vector p over h cross dot dot here we are using instead of this r here we are using uh, vector s a vector x minus e over h cross t okay because uh, e equal to h cross omega so let us compare these two equations this is equation for plane wave and this is our wave function and let us compare these two equations we can understand we can uh, uh, we can equate this one or uh, uh, s with the quantity s is a function of x t with x t is uh, when we are comparing this equation 12 and this equation uh, we can we can write s of x t equal to p dot x minus e t okay s of x t equal to p dot x minus e t so when we are finding the gradient of this uh, finding the gradient of this s we will get del s equal to p when we are finding the gradient okay i'll provide the uh, derivation of that also at the end of this video uh, so uh, now let me write del s equal to p okay so uh, del s over m equal to del s is p del s is p and uh, del s over del s over this is vector vector p del s over m equal to is some kind of velocity okay this is some kind of velocity so we can write equation 11 as g equal to rho into del s by m is that velocity so rho into v so that means we know the equation of continuity is uh, dou rho by dou t plus del dot j equal to zero and that will become uh, dou rho by dou t plus del dot instead of this j we can write rho v okay del dot rho v equal to zero and uh, this is equation four okay we can write the equation of continuity in this form this is the probability density and this is the velocity this is the probability density this is the velocity del dot rho v equal to zero so we can write the equation of continuity in this form okay now let us discuss the physical significance of this equation this is j equal to this actually vector j and earlier i forgot to put the vector sign for this probability flux this is vector j we have to correct it and j equal to rho del s over m okay this is this is the gradient of the quantity s gradient of the quantity the direction of the gradient of the quantity s means 
the direction of the maximum change of this quantity okay direction of the maximum change of the quantity so the direction of the probability del probability uh, flux is direction of the maximum change of this quantity okay let me uh, consider a sinusoidal wave a sine wave a sine wave this is that sine wave sine wave if the face of the sine wave is changing by pi radian at this point this wave will look like this wave will look like pi radian face is changed by pi radian okay this wave will look like this okay if the face of the sinusoidal wave is changed by pi by 2 radian then this wave will look like this okay if its change is less than pi by 2 radian less than pi by 2 radian it may look like this okay so here uh, with respect to the space with respect to the distance the phase is changing okay the gradient also is saying that the gradient of the quantity s is expressing the change of phase of this wave function change of phase of this wave function okay so the direction of the probability flux is in the change of the phase of the wave function let me consider two football this is one football air filled football and this is another football it's not filled with air not filled with air when I am making a hole here the flow of the direction of the flow of the air is in this this direction okay this is the first football and this is the second football instead of the air when we are considering a particle we are considering the particle as a wave so this wave represents this wave represents the particle consider uh, let me consider this wave represents the particle okay so the probability the probability of finding the particle in this region may decrease when I make a hole here and probability of finding the particle in this region may increase okay so in which direction the probability uh, uh, probability flux is passing the probability flux here this uh, del s is the change of the phase of the wave so in this direction the change of the phase of the wave happens okay the change of the phase of the wave happens in this direction when I am uh, taking when I am considering two footballs one is air filled and another is uh, without air uh, and there is not filled with air and when I, am, when I am considering like this the probability of finding the particle is decreasing at this region and increasing at this region and the probability uh, the probability flux is in the direction of the maximum maximum change of maximum spatial change of the phase of the wave function okay that is the importance of the wave function uh, hitherto we have been discussing the probability density by using mode size square the so probability density by using mode size square and here i am discussing here i am discussing the uh, uh, discussing the probability flux related with the phase of the wave function probability flux related with the phase of the wave function the direction of the probability flux is in the direction of the maximum change of the uh, maximum spatial variation of the maximum spatial variation of the phase of the wave function okay